Hi everyone, I'm Billing Chang reporting live for Asia Poker News. We're now here at the Grand Lisboa Hotel for the live coverage of Macau Millions main event. And I'm now here with PokerStars Team Asia Pro member, Selena Lin. Hi everybody. Hi Selena. So, what do you think of the Macau Millions unique format? The Macau Millions um, is obviously a brand new tournament that's been introduced by PokerStars Macau at Grand Lisboa. Um, the format of the tournament, really the idea is you can have a chance at a million dollar prize pool with just a buying of you know, 2,000 Hong Kong, which is very attractive for a lot of players. Um, the actual uh, event is plays like a repercharge or more like, I guess, a rebuy, but it's a rebuy that you can rebuy on different dates. So for example, they have day 1A and if you don't do well and bust out on that day, you can play 1B, 1C, and you know until you do make day two. Um, you will find that the blind levels for one, you know, the day ones can be pretty quick. You know, mm -hmm. it's something um, similar to the one thousand five hundred dollar dig stack that they had for the okay. Capo Cup. Um, it, there is going to be a lot of pushing, shoving, oins, and people gambling because they want to accumulate chips as quickly as they can. And what PokerStar Macau does is that they will take the top seven percent of um, the field and those guys will advance to day two mm -hmm. but they will also immediately have cashed for day two oh. so for example your buy-in is 2,000 mm -hmm. you make day two right away you're already looking at $8,000 in cash oh. so it's four times your buy-in so it can be great for a lot of players and once you advance to day two the blinds then get um, pushed back so mm -hmm. that everybody has a minimum of 35 big blinds to play with Mm -hmm. So then the game changes a lot and it comes down a lot to skill and so forth. Then that gives a lot of players a lot of chance to win yeah. the top prize, yeah? So what's your strategy coming into this event? Um, I think for me and, um, you know, for players who's played structures like this before, mm -hmm. um, at the very beginning, obviously, the blind level has been 25, 50, 50, 100. The pots that you win, the pots that you steal and pick up mm -hmm. are not so crucial because when you steal the blind it's only going to be you know 75 chips or 150 right mm -hmm. but when the level gets up to 400 800 mm -hmm. and when the 100 anti kicks in that's when you know every round like there is 15 like 1500 in the middle 2000 in the middle and it gets to a point where you know the pot with the anti just the big and small blind mm -hmm. adds up to 20,000 per wow. steal right mm -hmm. so um, at the beginning I think a lot of players would adapt, I mean, would go for a strategy where they might try to create a really good table image mm -hmm. so that this, it seems like they're playing really tight on the table so that when the blinds do go up really high and they want to start stealing blinds or start shoving and pushing, mm. they don't want to gamble as much so they don't want to be caught by a lot of players so they need to have that image so players would fold instead of taking that gamble with them. Oh, well that's a good idea, huh? So, uh, how have you played so far for this uh, event? Um, for the Macau Millions so far, I think um, I've played, you know, the, with the game plan I kind of go in with. Um, unfortunately, uh, I had a really good shot day making day two. Um, had pocket kings or in pre flop with pocket queens, and he spiked the queen on the flop um, to take me. Uh, I think I finished twenty third or twenty fourth um, for that day one and um, hopefully um, try again uh, for the next two days, see how I go there and um, you know once we make it to day two then my game would change quite a lot. I would start playing more post-flop hands mm. and stuff like that. Mm. Thank you so much Selena for granting us this interview. No worries. So Thanks. everyone please follow us as we cover the Macau Millions main event live here on Asia Poker News where we will be giving you live blogging chip counts and photos straight from the event. We will also have live video interviews with some of the biggest names in the field. So stay tuned to our website, asia.pokernews.com.